नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल बीन अ वाइल सिंस आई स्पोक टू यू सो आई हैव गॉट अ लॉट ऑफ टॉपिक्स टू कवर विद यू सो लेट्स गेट राइट इनटू द शो ओके यू नो व्हेन अ सोसाइटी अ सोसाइटी डज नॉट गो टू वॉच अ फिल्म बिकॉज द सोसाइटी फील्स यार ये क्रिएटिव जो है ना दैट फिल्म इज नॉट directed well the story of that film is not good the lyrics of that film is not good the cinematography of that film is not good the direction of that film is not good you know that society becomes a discerning society that society becomes a society that takes pride in its creative its tradition the society is then known as a rich society now imagine when a society says you know i don't got go to watch that film you know why because the director know that director does not believe in the same political ideology i believe baba so i am not going to go or that actor doesn't believe in the same political ideology that i don't i don't believe therefore i am not going to go and watch that film what does that turn us into what does that turn us into that turns us into a narrow minded and unimaginative society because creativity then will not flourish in such societies if creativity doesn't flourish mind you it is going to have direct effect on the culture and the tradition of that society because creativity is very important for the development of culture and tradition of any society in the world and the fact that you 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 judge a creative by the creator and his personal political preference and and things of that sort and not by the creative product that he is he is presented in front of you will create kill the creative because the the creator will then need to belong to a certain thinking and the fact that if there is unified thinking unison thinking there is no creativity think about it if everybody thinks the same then there is no creativity if everybody in this country thinks that the color saffron is the best or the color green is the best then there is no creativity there is no creativity and we will all have everything will be green everything will be saffron where is creativity where is pink where is green where is blue where is where is where is saff where is where is lilac where are these colors when these colors are not there there's no creativity the point that i'm trying to make is it is unfortunate that we have this culture of boycotting films and i'm not just talking about lal singh chadda i'm also talking about films that kashmir files for instance i spoke about kashmir files i may not agree to kashmir files but i will never want it to be boycotted because the person who has created it has the right to show it whether i like it or not is a different issue i may want to see it i may not want to see it but i would never want it to be boycotted so is the case with a lot of other film stars and film actors and so is the case with lal singh chadda you are boycotting a film because that that uh, that director and the actor of that film had some made some political statements so you are boycotting the film how fair is that how fair is that and what happens to one of the finest creative industry india has produced and that is the indian film industry what happens to that industry in the future think about it we are not punishing an actor or a director we are punishing an entire industry and our ability to create think about it now you know um, in 70s morarji desai rebelled from congress he started janata party but when he started janata party he realized that the members who rebelled and joined him in janata party all of them were going their own ways everybody had their own ambition everybody wanted to do what they want to do there was no control on the party and resultant he had to vacate his chair in 2 years and go vp singh rebelled again from congress started the janata dal 
जनता दल बिकेम द प्राइम मिनिस्टर अगेन द सेम प्रॉब्लम ईच ऑफ इज पीपल वेंट इन देर ओन डायरेक्शन वॉट हैपन ही हैड टू रिजाइन एंड वॉक आउट एंड द थर्ड फ्रंट एक्सपीरियंस has never happened post that in india logic acha why am i saying this i am saying this because you know <clears throat> there is this uh, mla from maharashtra who is belonging to eknath shinde faction the eknath shinde shivasena his name is uh, prakash surve who made a statement according to hindustan times he made a statement where he said that we must not rest till we show them their place their place means shiv sena the the other factions place do not take anyone's dadagiri dadagiri is bullying do not take anyone's dadagiri lying down if someone challenges you challenge them back cut them into pieces prakash surve is sitting here cut them into pieces if you cannot sever their hands break their legs i will get you a table bail the next day do not worry he says we will not attack anyone but if someone does so we will disembowel them said prakash surve the shiv sena mla then other mla interestingly called santosh bhangar he he went and slapped a a a, a food contractor phadak he gave him one <laughs> because he thought that the food was substandard the food that was being served to the to the contract workers was substandard so phadak he gave him one tight slap on his face What's happening in Shinde camp? What's happening in Shinde camp? Is Shinde in control? Is the CM of Maharashtra in control of his MLAs, or are they going the way they want to? I want to believe that Mr. Shinde has a problem and will have a problem with this. Is because if Mr. Shinde says that he is, you know, he is uh, wanting to establish the Bala Sahib Thakre and the Anandige Shiva Sena, then I know for a fact that Anandige was not uh, was a person who could actually control his people, and his people never moved an inch without his consent. I remember in 1993, entire Mumbai was burning. There were riots in Mumbai, but Anandige ensured that Thana was absolutely peaceful. There were no riots. That was Anandige, and that's the way he controlled his people. Is that what's happening in CM Shinde's faction of Shiv Sena? If it is not, then is Mr. Shinde like Murarji Desai or like V P Singh losing the control? of his party and his party men is he losing it and if he is losing it he need to be mindful of that because this may not be good for him in the future politically speaking and my last a small personal uh, point that i wanted to make you know on the request of the prime minister of india and also because i personally felt very good about it i posted an indian flag for the last one week on my personal page my personal facebook page my twitter handle and all of that i got a lot of trolls a lot of people trolled me saying hey kya kar rahe what are you doing why are you doing this you see let, let me tell you something putting that flag on my dp or my profile picture made me feel very proud and that's why i put it when i talk for or against a policy of the government or the prime minister i talk for and against based on the issue i don't have any personal grudge against any personal politician the prime minister especially there is no personal grudge so it is not that whatever he says i will go against it definitely not while i believe that putting up a flag is symbolism i believe that but i felt good doing it as an indian i felt good doing it so i did it it didn't cost anything it didn't harm anybody i did it and i felt very good the reason i am even justifying it is to make my point very clear that it is not a person or an ideology that one criticizes or one talks against or for it is not a person or an ideology it is the policy it is the situation that a person talks about for or against it is a policy that a person talks for or against it's always issue based
So that's the story I wanted to end my editorial with. I will catch you tomorrow at 10 p.m. Till then, Namaskar.